Hey everybody, we're playing some PAL World. Let's start off this episode hot. There is a little sealed realm of spirits. Let's head inside and let's take on what's inside. I think we haven't fought this before. And I think it's a pretty cool one. It's uh, a grass type. I think it'll be really good for things like planting. So we'll be swimming in berries. But it's pretty cool. Kind of, you know, some of my favorite PAL types are grass. Even some of my favorite Pokemon are grass. Roserade. Dude, top 10 Pokemon, bro. Roserade. Open Petalia here can become one of my favorites. Right, let's grab it. It's not... Well, I think it's only level 28. We're like 30-something, so we're a little over-leveled for it. I, I, you know, there's a small chance I still die if I'm, gonna, if I'm like a complete goofball here, but we should be good. Beacon's doing some work. We just got the Beacon saddle last video. So now we're right in that. More bullets. More bullets. And you're coming home with me. Yeah, you're beating your bed, bro. Alright. You can probably stop now. Also, do not hit me with that thing again or I will cry. On camera, live. Okay. It's like... I've... Dang, this thing like... And the thing likes to, like... Throw a little baseball things in me while I'm trying to catch it. Ooh, Swift and Workaholic. Yo, that's actually pretty gross. You absolutely love to see that. Don't moan at me like that. Don't don't you ever moan at me like that again, bro. Alright, I'm gonna capture you and do bad things, dude. Alright, alright, I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright. It's night time. Yeah, you just got demolished. Shiny? Probably one of the lamest shinies I've seen, but you know what? You're coming home with me, bud. Okay, see, I I, I can't call it lame. Dude, a sweet, these things are mega cute. You know what? You're coming home with me, and I'm going to cherish you like the little marshmallow thing that you are. Alright, come home with me. Alright, let's put our, our ice armor on so we don't freeze to death. Jormantide? Ooh, look at this thing. Yo, level 45, 4k HP. Can I kill that? Probably not. Right? We gotta sneeze. Can't look away. <laughs> Bless me. Do you think I can fight that thing? Probably not, right? Probably not. Alright, well, you know, we'll give it a little try. No use in... Yo, that did not hit me, bro. Come on. Okay, another thing that I wanted to try, just for giggles, is we found this pal tower, or this, you know, this boss tower on the mountain, but we never actually gave it a whirl, and I want to see, like, the the boss animation. They do, they, they make these boss animations so freaking cool. I had to check it out. We're probably going to die, but I at least had to check it out. I mean, a little Genshin Impact vibes going, but you'll love to see it. Huh. Alright, show me your thing. Not your thing. Show me your pal. <laughs> okay. Is that like a griffin? Is that a crow? Crow griffin? Shadow beak? Yo, that's so cool. 200,000 HP? Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Um, can I get out of here without dying? I think I might just have to die. Yeah, this thing's gonna Shrek me. He's gonna hit me with two... Yup, not. That wasn't even close. That wasn't even a fight, dude. Dude, rip a Roni. Dude, that, that was actually not even a fight. World. Today... Is a big change if you guys know that this whole time I've been playing on a dedicated server well no longer the lag and all of that stuff kind of got to me and I said you know what it's time to switch my file over to a single player it's not as easy as it sounds it's pretty hard you have to download Python cargo and like another thing and you have to do the codes that switch anyway I managed to do it 
So I am now on my world with nobody else. Now, along with the lag and stuff, that was a, a minor reason. But the biggest reason was because, obviously, when you're in a guild, you have a certain amount of bases. Well, I'm playing with other people. They wanted their own base. So we have three unlocked. Well, I had one and my other two friends had one. But I want three to myself because we've been using this place to do everything. I'm talking or wood, um, like farming, with, like wool and eggs. And this place is just not good for anything else that's not mining, essentially. So I said, I need to get myself another base. Well, the only way to do that was to leave the one that I was currently on. So that's what we did. Long story short, we are now single player. So I went to my friends' bases. I completely got rid of them. I demolished them. All the items are gone. It's just me again. It's the same old... It's literally, we're in the same place. I just got rid of everyone's saves. <laughs> okay, so now, according to this, what level are we? Um, We are... We have we have three three bases, so we can build two more. So this I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as my mining base, meaning a lot of the stuff is gonna get taken out. These you know these conveyor belts, the breeding, the all this is gonna be taken out. But we have to find a place to put it. Also, before I forget, this whole thing is gonna be redone. Obviously, if I'm converting this into just mining, a lot of this has gotta go. And a lot of it's going to get redone. Okay, everybody. So, here's where I think I'm going to build. I'm going to build right here. Yeah. So, again, this is just going to be basically like a production base and nothing else. Yeah, so here I'm going to do all my breeding, like my, uh, my berries and all that type of stuff. So... I guess let's go ahead and get started. Again, all of this is going to be a pretty long process. Yeah. I basically am just completely transforming two whole different bases. they are both got to be redone. Okay, so let's just see. Like, probably right here is the middle. Yeah, probably like right here. Yeah, that seems about seems about right. So right here, oh, and see, all of a sudden, I'm not I'm not gonna have the thing to make the bell box. Yeah, okay. Well, here, let's do this. Let's like drop something right here. Okay, there we go. That's gonna signify that that's where we need to grab. That's where we need to put the pal box down. Okay. Well. For now, let's just grab everything I need for the pal box. And then we can, like, teleport stuff. Or, like, you know, we can quick back and forth to grab the stuff to make, you know, the actual buildings. But, okay, so we got some some of that. We need some palladium, right? Need some of this. Bam. Okay. And look at that, we have all of our pals, and we'll get like a special diverse cast over here. A little bit different than the mining crew. Okay, so we kind of need to figure out what we want over here, but we're going to need a lot of materials to bring over. Honestly, this might be even be like an off-camera thing, because this is going to take like a hot minute. Yeah, so this might be even be like a time lapse.
How's it going everyone? We're playing some more Pal World. So if you didn't see last video, we finally left our friends' server. So now we are on a single player world. And you guys know what that means. We have three bases available to us to build. Before we were sharing it with the homies, right? Well now we're on single player, meaning I have more bases to build. We had our main one at the mining spot, but the plan now is to leave the mining spot as the mining spot and have the actual base right here. So we started building it. The last video was basically just a giant time, time lapse of building it. Um, this video might be a lot of the same, not gonna lie, just because there's a lot of like repetitive mundane stuff that we've already done. There's a lot of that to do. But I wanted her to come on, you know, start the video off. First thing we're going to do is what we haven't done yet in any of our bases is build like a protective wall around it. The mining base can't be raided because it's on top of a mountain, so we don't really have to worry about it. But this one is on flat ground. This one can be raided. So it's probably a good idea just to build a little wall around it. So I wanted to do that with you guys. And then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and... Um, basically continue progress on building the base but what's even more important and because most of the base was already done at least here most of the things were built what's going to be important is turning our current base the mining base into exactly that a mining base a lot of that stuff is going to have to be ripped up and i have to specifically optimize that base for mining meaning getting rid of all like the production equipment, because that's not needed. Um, I'll have to specifically hand pick pals that I want working there, to, you know, to just specifically mine, cut down trees, and maybe do a little bit of, um, you know, kindling. Uh, but really, what's going to be the most important is freeing up, just destroying everything that's in the way of the rocks. I want as many coal and ores. To naturally generate in that area so I need to get rid of everything and basically rebuild just the stuff that I need so that's gonna include ripping down the house that house is gonna have to go away and then all the little things on the sides but like I said it's probably gonna be put in some form of a time-lapse or maybe I'll just play the video game without a camera on and just leave it at normal motion I don't really know um, but that's gonna be the plan for today and, you know, this entire video is probably going to take me a good two, three hours. I'm going to try to condense it into, like, you know, a 20 minute, 20, 30 minute video. That's also why I'm not, you know, planning to record the entire thing because it's going to take a lot of hours. And I'm not having six videos straight of just building up the base, you know, that'd be kind of poo poo. So, but it was a big step leaving the server and... I'm I'm super excited to have more bases this you know this gives us a lot of opportunity to expand and you know farm certain things that really really needed to be farmed okay so we are here at the actual base and like I said you see all those like you know all that stone on the ground and things of that sort all of that's gonna have to go away in preparation to actually start building the base over here let's go ahead and Take all the pals out because you guys know what's happening. The easiest way to get rid of everything is to break the pal box itself. Now, we're going to have to break the pal box because I actually the, the, the location where the pal box is is not a very good location. I need to kind of elevate the ground using some form of a platform and then put the pal box on top of it. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and grab all these eggs, because if I just break the pal box, it's going to just drop these eggs. And if their incubation is already complete, I might as well just pick them up really quickly. Some frozen eggs. And you guys know in the past couple of episodes, I've picked up a lot of eggs. So we've got plenty to open here. Get us one step closer to that 10 catch bonus for all of these homies. But yeah, once we break that pal box, everything around me is going to go to poop. The, the all the stuff inside my base are gonna break a lot of the farms are gonna break but yeah that's where I, why i'm saying this might take a while you might think oh you just need to break a production thing or two no i'm gonna be basically re-renovating this entire base because currently it is not optimal i can use it as a mining base right now but that's 
I don't want to be running at like half capacity just because I'm a little too lazy to move a pal box. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to suck. Everything is going to break. But I think once we get the actual base up and running, like with proper efficiency, we'll be swimming in ore. And if you guys don't know, ore is very important, especially for late game, because it can make you a lot of money. And uh, you guys, you guys know I love to automate things in games and just make things as most efficient as possible. Uh, if you guys ever watched my Minecraft, y'all know. So this is new. We actually got this just now out of an egg. This kit sun. I don't, I don't know where to find this, but I'm glad it came in an egg because this thing looked cool. Not very useful though. So we're going to go ahead and stick it back. But that thing is pretty cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and start the destruction. See, even this area right here. This stuff needs to go away. There could, this could be on top of a coal ore, and I don't even know. And by golly, I'm not going to leave efficiency. You know, like, I'm, I'm being as efficient as possible. Um, so a lot of this is going to go away. But I think this is where I'm going to stop talking. Things are just going to have to be broken, and it's going to take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. I think the rest of the video is probably going to be some form of a time lapse. I don't know. I'll figure it out later, but um, yeah, once we're done with this, man, we'll be swimming in ore, and I'm, oh man, I'm excited.